The only time I ever waited with bated breath for the launch of an indie game was a hat in time. We're not quite as starved for 3D platformers nowadays, but there was a time when releases like this were an event for enthusiasts of the genre. Big, sprawling maps to explore that felt like lived-in, cohesive worlds with a pitch-perfect movement system to pilot the adorable main character with, and a presentation that was whimsical and cute without being off-puttingly childish for the undeniably not-so-youthful audience of people who grew up back when this was the dominant genre in gaming. I am shocked by the number of set pieces, characters, and music tracks I can distinctly recall, showing that A Hat in Time succeeded in embodying the best qualities of the 5th and 6th generation platformers it was following up. The infectious addiction of a razor-tight gameplay experience that also always makes you feel completely absorbed in an appealing, engrossing digital world. 